So my name's Emily, I'm a Band 5 staff nurse and I work in Dermatology Act patients at the Royal United Hospital in Bath. So I'm here to strike today, obviously for fair pay. Um, the cost of living crisis is affecting me hugely um, as me, myself and my, um, my partner and our daughter. I work full time for the NHS and on top of that I also do agency shifts just to get more pay basically. I can't survive on the pay that I'm getting. It's really difficult, the times are hard. I'm Blessy Shahjan, working in Broad Green Hospital, PHL Recovery, working as a team leader. I think this is really ideal to do the strike because the government needs to look into it. Uh, because, you know, like, um, uh, the prices of everything is going up, but the nurses, you know, like, salary is just staying stable since long time. And uh, because uh, we, we are the main uh, source of the, you know, like, for the patient care, and everything and you know like nobody is listening to us patient care is really very important and uh, we need to look, uh, the girl, the people need to look into it because you know like it's really important my name's Dominique I'm a retired nurse and I used to work here and I've come today to support the, the nurses action and I back it completely hi my name's Ruby um, I'm a sister in the A&E department um, of a hospital that probably not allowed to say. Um, I've been a nurse for 10 years um, and um, I have seen a, a pay cut in real terms over the last 10 years. Um, I have had to get a second job in order to, to pay off my debts. Choosing my career now, there's no way I would choose nursing. I would choose something much easier and much less stressful. RCN, the union, uh, the nurses union, are a non-striking union. Um, because we never you know, felt that it's a strike because you wouldn't want to compromise patient care and nobody wants that but we've been pushed to do this now because problems that we're facing at work go way beyond just the hospital where I work they're at the highest, highest level the government needs to step in and do something about the health service because it, it, it needs to be saved, it's falling apart nobody wants to train as a nurse anymore you come out of uni with 27,000 um, pounds worth of debt and the starting salary is less than the debt that you are already owing to the universities. Who would want that? I could be a web developer and not have any debt and earn twice as much. What they should be doing instead of strike breaking is giving us what we're asking for which is fair pay, it's not too much to ask for. Saying, asking the army to come in to cover the paramedics is, is strike breaking. It's trying to demoralise us so that we, we can't go on strike. You know, I, as a nurse, I've always trusted Labour to be on the side of the NHS and the nurses. Um, and hearing the things that West Reading said and that Keir Starmer have said just made me lose faith in, in Labour. And I just don't think the NHS is going to be safe with them. Yeah, yeah I, I'm not a fan of Keir Starmer, unfortunately. I think he appeals to uh, Conservative voters, which I don't think is a good thing. Um, and he is in favour of private health care. He has, he has um, said often that he thinks private health care um, is the way forward for the NHS. So no, I, I don't think the NHS is safe with Keir Starmer. Actually, I think he probably will win the next general election um, but he just won't he won't do what we need for the NHS it would be great to have more socialist government I would vote for it would be up for a general strike I've been, I feel like I've been forced um, we've all been forced to it there are so many strikes going on at the moment that it might be worth coordinating into a general strike